Welcome or welcome back and I need help at C square. Well, in this example here we have to do a proof, a two column proof. And let's see how that works. Okay, first of all, what I like to do is well, like I call a rough graph. Okay, so I'm looking here, this is given and I need to prove this. But then I'm gonna mark on my picture what is given to me. It's given that AC congruent to BD, right? Also, I'm looking to the second part of the given statement. In fact, second enter is the midpoint of AB. That means these two guys need to be congruent. Other than that, E cannot be the midpoint. And also, E is the midpoint of CD. So these two guys, CE and ED, need to be congruent. Looking now, what do I notice? I notice there are three corresponding congruent sides. So, by side, 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 postulate these two triangles you see, A, 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 E, C, and B, D are congruent. The only thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to take this stuff and put it on a two column proof. And on the left column, you put statements. And on the second one, you put reasons. And the first statement I'm going to put is AC congruent to BD, which is given to me. You notice this is the first one in the given statement. Given goes here. And then I'm going to go with E is the midpoint of AB. Again, this statement is given to us. So I'm going to write again given. Based on this statement, the reason I can write my next statement, which is AE congruent with EB. And this goes, the reason here is definition of midpoint. Yeah, the, the, the midpoint cuts a segment in half. But, and now I'm going to write what? The last part of the given statement. E is the midpoint. Of, of CD. This is given again. And what would be my next statement? CE congruent to ED. And this is the definition of midpoint again. And now based on these three sides, Side here, side here, side here, right? You see side, side, side. I can write my final statement, right? So let me put this like this, side, 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 side. Triangle AEC, I'm going to triangle BD. We need to follow the correct order here with the letters. And here we're going to put the last either SSS positive. That's it for a two column proof. You're going to see here a better one. All right, you can see it, the same thing here. And the, my next slide, you can see how a flow chart or a flow proof looks like. It's the same thing, a different way to organize it. You see side, 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 those, and the reason goes underneath. Also, you notice here, when you organize your things, yeah, maybe you need more space. Uh, this is the first given statement, which gives me the, um, the other two con corresponding two, congr uh, two corresponding congruent sites. And then the final statement here, and the reason. And that is a flowchart or a flow proof. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-square. Thank you.